The following program is suitable for family viewing. Well, non-family members can join in too. Welcome to another exciting and interesting and foodie episode of Taste Box on R2 TV. My name is Sophia, and guess what, guys? We have an interesting um, menu today. So I was gonna just start running you guys through the ingredients and all that, but we're going to go on a quick break. When we return, we'll go through the process of introducing ourselves to our ingredients. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. It is Taste Box on R2 TV. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, like I said, we're going to be meeting our ingredients. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, we just heard it on our two TV taste buds. Okay, first off, we have to get ourselves in the mood of cooking, kitchen, tasting and all that. So I have to know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yes. More like it, I guess. Yes, 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 yes. You can never get it right without covering up. I don't want to spill some nice oil. <laughs> okay, so let's meet our ingredients. Okay, first I'll start with plantains. We have plantains. We have vegetables. We have fish. We have onions. Now, these are very cute healthy onions and we have tomatoes and then these are this is a um, blend pepper we just blended before and then we have granite oil and we have cubes for spicing and we have salt and we have um garlic here but it's optional it's some people don't like garlic in their meals while others like garlic in their meals so what i'll be doing i'll just be putting a little bit of it everything so we get a good dish okay guys are you ready are you ready because we are about to get this food cooking so we first go with a pot remember to always rinse your pot You can never be, you can never be too careful, never. So, we pick our plantains. A lot of people would do this with um, unripe plantain, but I decided to do it with half ripe, ripe plantain. It's in between, so I'll just cut and cut and oh by the way guys these are washed already and then we do this i cut i cut and i cut Okay, because my plantains are a bit ripe, I'm not going to cook for too long. We need water. Okay, now that we have water in our plantain, we put on fire to boil. Good. Make sure to rinse. And cover. Okay, we take this away. So next up, we get a pot for to steam. Mm. 
the rings. So we take our washed um, fish, we place in a pot, place in the pot, place in the pot. Yes, here we go. So, because I'm not going to be cooking this for too long, I'm going to spice it up before I put it on fire. So my knife. So I'm slicing a lot of it in here. And then a blended pepper. Make sure to rinse. I'm going to put in a lot of pepper because I'm going to be mixing this up before it goes into the fire. We need salt. Two piece, two cubes, just for taste. So, like I said earlier, a lot of people would decide not to use um, garlic, but we're going to just put a little. So, I'm just going to mash it, chop it. You can blend this with your pepper if you want to. Yes, yeah, so I know it's peppery and all that, but you have to mix it properly because these are fresh fish. So mix it. I want to have my fish very spicy. You see what I'm doing? Just make sure it goes all the way. Just, just take it all the way in. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. So, funny thing is, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to add very little oil to this. I'm not frying, by the way. I'm steaming, and it's okay to steam with. Um, granite oil, olive oil, depends on what choice of oil you want to use. And then you add little water. Cover firmly and put on fire. Yes. So, guys, this shouldn't take long. Trust me. It shouldn't take long at all. See? I still have a lot of pepper. And if you look close, you'd see the oil, the tomatoes. 
So we have tomatoes and onions, so we're going to chop them. We're not frying anything, by the way. Everything is supposed to come out fresh. Okay, there we go. So, we have our tomatoes and they are already washed. Anything you want to make a good meal, supermart.ng has got you covered. Okay, so I'll quickly check my fish. I have to turn it to the other side because it's been cooking. Oh, nice. It's been cooking on one side for a while, so let's Turn to the other side. Yep, turn them. Yes. So I'm going to let this cook for a while, we'll go on a quick break, when we return, we see what next goes into the pot. So we have um, our tomatoes and onion chopped, our veggies ready, granite oil and pepper to go. And I have me this one, I'm saving me this piece, you'll see the magic when I'm done. Okay, so I'll check my... Okay, so we use this to check. Remember I said when your plantain is a bit ripe, it's safe not to cook for too long because you know it doesn't take time to get to be ready. So the plantain is almost done. So I'm, this, our fish is ready. Very, 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 very ready. Very ready. So we're going to move it off the fire. So, take this out, put this out. And we cover. This is going away for a while. Cover. So we need a frying pan for the next procedure. So always remember to rinse. Oh, we are ready. So we take this out, so we go in for the next. So you have to take out the water. Have to take out the water, keep it cool. Let's open it slightly. And next up, our veggies. So I'm doing everything I don't want. I don't want to cook too much. That's why I had to prepare the fish on its own. So very little oil, very, very little oil.
Don't let it fry for too long. Do not let it fry for too long. And to make sure we're not frying, I'm going to add so many things that need, that has a lot of water. So remember our pepper has water, right? Yeah. I'm going to get this back. What I'm going to do is take a very, very small portion of the sauce. I'll call this a steam I'm not, and not a fry. Yep. So, this will be needed soon. Our veggies are going in next. I'll add a pinch of salt. I need this water for my veggies. So once it's acting like it's going to dry up, I'm going to add my veggies and food is ready. More so because of your veggies, you can actually take up a lot of spices. Okay, I have some more. Yeah, it should be enough. Okay, so Okay, so it's going to be a pop of color, so I'm going to take this down to low heat. Yes. Okay. Okay. As you can see, if you notice, nothing is fried. We have our onion still fresh. And that's it, guys. Hmm. <clears throat> so, I turn that off because we are ready. Yes, that's the idea. It needs to be not exactly soggy, but I need the spice in. Okay, so we're going to dish. We're going to dish now. So what, we're, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go on a quick break. When I return, I'll do the tasting. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so we just add more sauce, more. Remember the um, tomatoes I kept aside? I just diced them. Just actually for show off, kitchen show off. So when you turn like this, you turn like that. 
and I'm going to test. to have a feel of both sides of the plates because I love veggies mm. yes mm. a bite on the fish That was yummy. So this was quick, if you noticed. Um, ripe plantain, veggies, veg sauce, and fish. Very simple, you did not need to fry. We, we didn't have to fry anything. We just went all fresh. So my name is Sophia Ijofo, and it's been an exciting moment with you on Taste Boys on R2 TV. And remember guys, you can always join us on Taste Boys. All you have to do is do what you see us do on Taste Boys, then tag us on any of our social media handles, scrolling down on your screen. Remember guys, all our ingredients were supplied by supermart.ng. You can go online and check them out. They deliver right to your doorstep. So stay tuned, follow, follow us and do what you see us do, like I said earlier, on any of the social media handles, scrolling down on your screen. My name is Sophia Ejofo, and it's been an exciting moment on Taste Boys. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.